Winston Edmondson here. I'm hanging out with Kathy Chang with Impetus. Kathy, I want to find out about the services, a uh, uh, full suite of services that you offer. How is that different than some other traditional uh, that maybe just offer one product and, and no complimentary suite of, or services? Sure. So Impetus is a software solutions and services company. We've been around since 1991 in India, and the headquarter was established in San Jose in 1996. We did our first big data project in 2007, so we were one of the earliest uh, big data players in the services space. Wow. So when you're, when you're saying big data is a little bit different in the traditional um, IT services business where you the, the customers may already know what they want to implement, what technology they want to choose, and they want to implement it. Here, uh, the big data journey is a little bit more difficult. There are so many technologies available out there. There are so many, and customers may not necessarily have the expertise to know what they need to solve the problems they want to solve. So what Impetus does is we, we start from the problem that the customer is trying to resolve, and we help them select technologies that work the best for their environment, and we are objective because we are technology agnostic. We, are, we work with a number of partners, including Hortonworks, who's a host of this uh, Hadoop Summit here, one of the hosts of Hadoop Summit here, uh, to work out the best solution that's for, that, for their environment. And how we're, how we're different from, from the rest is that we're not a, just uh, doing the consulting piece and say here's our advice and good luck to you but rather we also carry it through we also do the architect we not only do the architecting we also implement to, to make sure the customer is successful gotcha so there's uh, so much new information out there that you give a little hand holding along the way you, you help them manage the entire process rather than like you said just handing it off yeah, absolutely. So there's, for example, one of the things we do for um, for customers who may not have um, uh, a good understanding of, of the overall ecosystem is we do a um, uh, one to four, one to five day. Um, session to help them understand what's out there, what's available, and what works for best for what uh, what situation, and it depends on what the customer is looking at. We can look at it, okay, let's look at your environment, how does this work for your, your situation specifically. So we have a one day, three day, four day, five day, depends on what they're looking to do, really to get them started, and then hopefully by then we'll win their business to carry that on as well. I like that. Kathy, uh, you, you said you start with a problem. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to some folks that may not even realize they have a problem. What are some common problems that you see that you're able to help with? Uh, I want to trigger their, uh, <laughs> I want to inspire them and help them realize that, wow, didn't even think of it as a problem, but maybe we can address it. What are you seeing? Sure. I mean, a lot of times it comes down to two main areas. How do we make more money? How do we sell, well, from a customer perspective, how do we sell more of what uh, we offer to the marketplace? And second is, how do we save money? How do we save costs in our environment? So I'll give you a quick example of one, which is um, uh, mentioned yesterday when our customer, Newstar, and uh, Impetus had, had a joint talk at, um, at, the, general, at, at um, um, the session yesterday. What they were, uh, uh, one of the things that New Stars Mike Peterson brought up was that they were looking to really reduce cost for their data center. So just from consolidating the licenses and being able to uh, meet their data needs, uh, they were able to save a significant amount of money to fund additional projects to you to put some of the d newer technologies in place just to uh, address their uh, data quality needs, data data governance needs, etc. Kathy, I love hanging out with you. You just have so much information. Uh, I have a favor to ask you. What's that? Is there any way we could get a demo for some of what you do? Can we go check out uh, kind of a demo of what you what you have? Uh, let me think about it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we have we 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 have a demo out there, and let me take you there. Fantastic. Let's go check it out. Uh, this is Kathy Chang again, and I have here Vivek Ganesan, who is our principal architect. He's going to show, show you a little bit of uh, what we have to show, been showing at the Hadoop Summit here. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Um, here we have our demo booth uh, at uh, the Hadoop Summit here. Uh, we actually, uh, this demonstrates our real-time analytics capability 
uh, that we could engineer on top of Hadoop. Um, if I may uh, just point to the demo showcase here, this is a real-time social sentiment analysis engine. Um, this is built on top of our, our real-time analytics engine called Vajra, which uh, we are just announcing at the Hadoop Summit. Uh, this does high-velocity ingest of uh, various data streams, uh, routing and workflow for analytics and data pipelines, as well as the ability to run complex algorithms in real time, and also the ability to persist uh, the data into Hadoop for batch analysis. Uh, as a showcase, we've actually built a sample uh, demonstration application that looks at tweets. Uh, so we are streaming tweets, and in real time, we are running sentiment analysis on the tweets. And you can see the sentiment uh, being shown here as the streams are scrolling by. Um, we kind of slowed, slowed down the tweet stream a little bit so that it's visible. Uh, but you can see negative sentiment in red, neutral in yellow. And uh, the, the topic that we are talking about is uh, gun control, actually, which is, uh, generates quite a lot of tweets, as you could imagine. Uh, so positive would show up as green, uh, that is pro-gun control, and negative as red, and neutral being yellow. And we've mapped this to locations as well, uh, which is projected on the map here. So every time a tweet appears, we automatically, in real time, do the sentiment analysis and project that on the map. Um, this is just a demonstration of what this engine is capable of. Uh, it can You can uh, imagine a lot more complex applications where you're running analytics and deep learning on uh, rapid data streams that are coming in. Um, here is another example in a different vertical. This is for the financial services. And what uh, this is, it's stock analysis. Uh, you can see the, uh, it does several stock here. For instance, we are looking at Google. It captures the data coming in and runs analytics on that data in real time. And we also built a uh, learning model uh, which generates uh, signals, uh, buy, hold, or sell signals uh, for a set of uh, stocks that uh, you could be tracking. Again, um, both of these dem demo applications use uh, our, uh, our project, which is a real-time analytics engine called Vajra. And um, we have a lot more use cases to offer, and we will be releasing white papers and webinars about this pretty soon. Thank you.